Hi, welcome to the third tutorial of Ajax series and uh, in this tutorial we will see uh, we will use post method instead of get method as we did in our previous tutorial and uh, uh, as usual I already made the uh, markup we have a div we will send the request but this time uh, we will use the post method and we will send it to uh, a file on our server and uh, the same thing will happen we will populate our this div so first thing I need to do is I need to slightly increase the width and height 500 maybe and 100 save and save okay we have this file we will send the request to this file and uh, we will get some uh, uh, data from this file okay so again we have the a function that will be triggered when we will click the button and uh, we need to define this function so we define this function my func and save and uh, again we need to check the type of our the this is necessary to get the right version of Ajax as we have discussed in our last tutorial and uh, there are many things uh, there are many ways you can do this so if it is then we will simply assign our variable new xml as ttp request object if it is not undefined and if it is undefined then we will assign our variable xml as ttp the activex object this uh, object is for internet explorer activex object microsoft.xml http microsoft.xml http activex object okay so till here we have the object for ajax until it is undefined the ajax is totally not supported by the browser so you can check that also not equal to undefined so uh, so the script uh, this part the script which uh, we will write in this part will only execute if the browser has support for Ajax so uh, there is slightly a difference between post and get method in Ajax so as usual you have to assign a uh, event handler on ready state change you can assign this function any defined function or an anonymous function and the next thing you need to do is this event handler is actually uh, for this uh, this is for the response so if you don't know what event handler is so uh, just remember that the response will be uh, received in this part in this function so the next thing we need to do is send the request uh, initialize our request using open and this time the method is post and next thing you need to do is mention the file you want to send request to so it is on localhost in white youth's tutorial folder and uh, file is process.php this file so you mention the method then you mention the file the absolute path and then you mention the uh, type of response we want it to be synchronous or asynchronous so the next thing is now this is the different part set request headers header so this method is to set the headers of your request 
so this is a uh, post method is actually used for forms so you have to set the content type to that of form so the content type of form is application or x dash www dash form dash url and code it url and code it ok and uh, this is the first header you need to set the second header you need to set is the set request header and uh, you mentioned the content length also Uh, so the content length can be so we can get the length suppose we are uh, we need to send these or content is equal to we need to send the name suppose name is equal to Ali and country equals to Pakistan suppose we have this content that we will send using post so we need to uh, send the length of this uh, a string so we can get the length by using the content dot length property this property contains the length of the string you mentioned so we have the content length and the last header you need to set is for the request header the connection the connection should be set to close this is a connection type and it is used to send the form data using post so we have set the headers we have uh, initialized we have set headers we have then in, uh, initialized also and uh, now we need to just send the request so XML HTTP dot send and now you write the content inside now this content will be sent using post and uh, when it is sent so till here when the script will execute it will send the request now we need to receive what is the response on the server so for that we already discussed the registered property in our previous tutorial which turns for this property changes its value consistently so uh, when it is for we know we get the response we have got the response sorry so we simply need to double it or div in this part to get the response and div is response the ID of the div is response and using the inner HTML property we will add the HTML in it the HTML is the response which is XML HTTP dot response property response text say if there are many properties when uh, you get the response you can have as you set the request you can actually retrieve the response headers also but that is for advanced if you know uh, wanna know about that also you can search on Google so this is just to get you started with Ajax the get and post methods so we save it and hopefully if it will work we refresh our page send request and uh, there is an error automation is going to replicate object on line 11 line 11 ok we forgot to add the new keyword now it will work in inshallah yes we got the response now uh, this was the post method and uh, we have covered both methods and uh, hopefully you have got something from them thank you for watching this tutorial